Hi everyone, this is Sherry. Recently I received a couple of requests asking if I would do a tutorial on the envelope that I used for the loaded envelope swap. The envelope style that I chose to use was a three pocket style made from one 12 by 12 piece of paper, very similar to this one. For some of you seasoned paper crafters, the technique that I'm about to show will be old hat. But for some of the newbies, it might be a brand new technique to them and it'll help them grow um, in their paper crafting skills. And it'll also give them some additional options for envelope styles should they participate in swaps in the future. So let's get started. The first thing that we'll need to do is find the 12 by 12 piece of paper that we want to use. And this one is a double sided piece of paper. And the most challenging part of that is figuring out which side I want to go with. Um, I think I like this. So I'm going to go with this as my outside. And now I need to make a few score marks. My first score mark is going to be at the five and three quarter mark. And I will turn my paper and score again at the three eighths mark. And the reason why I turn the paper is because I'm just too lazy to do the math. But what you'll end up with are two score marks here. And this will help to create the body of the envelope. So then I'll turn my paper again in the opposite direction. So the two score marks that I just made are now going in this direction. And I am going to score at half an inch. Flip my paper score at half an inch. And now that I have the paper facing in this direction, I want to go ahead and create my pocket. And for this envelope, I scored at four to get a pocket of this depth. You could score at three and your pocket would be, both pockets on the bottom would be like this and then you'd have additional space here to decorate the taller envelope on the outside. Or you could score at five and it would be up to here probably, leaving you less room to decorate. It's all personal preference. Mine is going to be scored at four. And while I have my scoreboard out, I'm also going to go ahead and score the connecting pieces. So you are going to need two pieces of cardstock. And for this, because my pocket is going to be three and a half inches high because I fold it down one half of an inch, because I fold it down one half of an inch, but I scored at four, that's going to leave me three and a half inches to work with. So I need two pieces of paper and I always make that pocket depth at two. So it's two by three and a half on both pieces. And then I'm going to score at half an inch. So I, I place my paper in with the two inch side being here and I score down on the three and a half inch side every half inch. So I'll do that again. So half an inch, one inch, and one half inch. And now I can put away my scoreboard. Okay, so let's get back to this. We have all of our score lines and now we're going to fold and burnish on the score lines. Okay, I'm now folding down the half inch line. And the reason why I'm starting here is because I'll actually glue this down. So the, I created the half inch line because I just like to have a decorative border 
on the folds of the envelope. So I have folded that one down and I'll go ahead and glue it since it's here. Okay, and then I'll do the same thing on this end. I'll fold it back. And then I am going to just run some glue. Burnish my pocket and I'm going to fold in the line that was made for three eighths of an inch and folding that inward because that's going to be the joining joint for the envelope and then I'm folding on the line that I scored at five and three quarters and I'm going to add glue on that 3 eighths inch fold. And then I'm just going to put that down. I use a lot of paper towels because I just like to take the paper towel and work the glue in. Bounty is my friend. Okay, so when I'm making this envelope, I'm not closing either the top or the bottom. I'm leaving them open. So now we have a finished envelope. But we need to go ahead and do the fold of that envelope. So all we're doing is where I scored at four inches, I'm taking the four inches and I'll fold it up. And that is where these pieces will come into play. What we need to do with these pieces, we need to fold them just as you would a rosette. If you were starting to make a rosette. And I need, I did that backwards, so I'm going to start it over. And then we're going to glue that, turn it so you can see it. We're going to glue that as close to the line as possible and as close to the edge as possible. doing this backwards so I'm going to turn it towards me just a little bit so I can get it lined up and then I'll turn it back okay so see I placed that on the edge and I'm just going to work that glue in so that won't come up and then I'll do the exact same thing on the opposite side and the reason why you don't want to go ahead and do this side now is because it would be almost impossible to get this piece in if you did that. So let's go ahead and do the two pieces that are alike that lay on the same side first. So we'll put this one in. And that's straight enough.
And then I'm just going to work the glue in. And now, we can glue this side and glue this. And when you close it this time, your hands will probably get a little bit messy because you're going to have to touch the glue. But we're used to that in paper crafting, right? So then we're going to take it, fold it, get it started, and then lay it down. And then I am just going to hold that for a second before I really start burnishing because I want that glue to take. Now I'm going to do some burnishing and I'll flip it I think my neighbor has the loudest car on the planet you probably can hear it okay and then I'm just gonna work the glue in and I'm going to hold it, pinch it right here and just hold it for a second because I need the, th this is so thick that I need that glue to really take hold. And then I just take my bone folder, go in and kind of open up the pockets a little bit and just kind of round them off. And there you have it. So what you end up with is a pocket here, a pocket here, and a pocket here. I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, please let me know what you think and subscribe if you haven't. Thank you. Bye-bye.